Ravens fans, I'm here with cornerback Sharice Wright, who just signed a new three-year contract extension. Sharice, thanks for being here. How good did it feel to put the pen to the paper and make that ink dry in the three-year contract? Oh man, it felt it felt good. It was a lot of you know a lot of weight off off my shoulders and something I can kind of put past me now and just get focused on, you know, focus on the vision of you know coming back and, and being that that corner that you know that I expect to myself and you know as this organization expects from me. So I'm excited. So when you signed here last year, I remember you saying at the time you expected this to be a place that you could maybe stay long term. When did that possibility kind of become a reality to you? Um. I mean, as the season went on, you know, after that, getting that first game out the way and as I progressed and I kind of fit in pretty well and, you know, I was able to, to make a couple plays here and there to, to, you know, to solidify myself as a player and, you know, as we just, as the season went on and I continued to, to get better and, you know, as the off season, you know, before I left and I talked to Ozzy and he told me that he's going to try to get the deal done and I told him I wanted to come back. So, you know, I figured if both parties wanted it that it was going to happen. So Now, I know you're a California guy. Right. You, you live in California, born and raised in California, went to college there, played out there before moving out here. What was the biggest factor? Maybe it was Jimmy, you know, that brought you out here because if people don't know, you and Jimmy Smith are high school teammates. Right. What was the biggest factor that brought you out here that made you want to stay? The biggest factor was for me, honestly, was getting out of my comfort zone. You know, I felt like I was too comfortable probably being close mm -hmm. to home and being in Cal Southern California, being spoiled and li being in San Diego, living on the beach is one of those things where I kind of want to, you know, get out of my comfort zone. I felt like that would help me, you know, stay focused and kind of tighten up a little bit and just focus on the, on the goals and the vision of, of me as a football player and kind of get away from the distractions. For me, that was one of the big thing, biggest things of me wanting to come back. And obviously having Jimmy here, you know, it helped it a lot. And, you know, being a fan of, of, of the Ravens and, like I said, being at that Super Bowl party, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a part of the vision. So that's something people don't know, is right. that you, obviously you weren't playing here in 2012, but you right. were here at the Super Bowl or in New Orleans at that Super Bowl party. What's the story behind that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, um, I went to support Jimmy, and um, so I was there, and he, you know, we I went back to the after party, and, you know, Mary J. Blige was uh, performing, <laughs> and I got a chance to meet a lot of the guys, and, I mean, it, it was it was a great opportunity. He gave me my first experience to being part of a Super Bowl and not actually being in it, but being there to experience and seeing the joy that everybody had and such a great feeling. I felt it and I wasn't even suited up or even had anything to do with it. So right. it definitely, you know, definitely helped me and, you know, focus on just trying to get, get back. And now I'm on the same team that was actually I was partying with, so. So in high school, you guys went to Colton High School out right. in California. Jamie's told me that you guys used to talk about this when you guys were like 16, 17, yeah. 18 years old about one day we want to be in the league and be on the same team. Yeah, we definitely did. We were starting corners in, in high school and we used to go to all the seven on seven passing tournaments together and ride together and just, you know, kind of just dream about, you know, going to the NFL, not only like, Dude, what if we what if we were on the same team <laughs> in the NFL, like also, and, uh, and, it, and it happened. We During the off season, we trained together, so we talked about it a lot. And the opportunity came up, and it was like, you know, like this is a, this is everything we've been talking about. So why not come to Baltimore? And it kind of was a, you know, deciding factor in the end. I remember you telling me after the season that as last year went on, you felt more and more comfortable, and you felt like going into the off season, you wanted to train with Jimmy, continue building that familiarity, obviously playing on the same team again. But you guys have expectations to be one of the top cornerback duos. I remember right. you told me that. What's it going to take to to get to that point and do that? It's going to take it's going to take the hard work and just mm -hmm. the, the the sacrifice and putting in the time, uh, like we've been talking about. Athletically, we can do it. We understand we can run, we can jump, and do all the things physically. But it's more just the mental part of the game and just being able to, you know, being comfortable out there and just take those chances and make those plays, you know. And that's just and just putting in the time and just working hard this all season to do our ball drills, make sure we actually catch catch those interceptions when they do come our way, and you know, and just continue this to grow. It, what what are people going to expect? What can we expect out of you next season, yeah, you expect, next three years? You expect me to, to, to do everything that I can to help us get back to the Super Bowl and to put in that time and to work my butt off and, you know, to show up every day to work ready to go and show up every Sunday ready to go. So, and, you know, shut down guys. Sharice, what's uh, the first thing you're gonna buy with that that new money, that three-year contract? Oh, uh, no, I'm just, I'm gonna put it away, put man. Put it in the bank? Yeah, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> I, uh, I've been buying, buying all the things that I always wanted to buy, so it's not something that, you know, I, I'm just now, you know, getting some money to buy something. So I'm pretty happy where I'm at. You know, I'll probably, probably, uh, I don't know, buy me a little toy or something, but nothing too crazy. There you go. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for the time. We're happy to have you here for yeah. the next three years. Thank you.